new attack submarine to be first with VLS. The future British attack submarine, the SSNR, will feature a vertical launch system, VLS. This is a first for the Royal Navy and will increase interoperability with American allies. This can be seen as a smart move, as the Ukraine war reinforces the importance of supply chains. The Royal Navy's astute class attack submarines are among Britain's most capable by any measure. They are the only subs outside the U.S. Navy able to launch the Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles, a capability which sets them apart. SSNR The last two of seven, HMS Agamemnon and HMS Agincourt, are still under construction in Barrow, England. But work is already well underway designing their replacement, the SSNR, Submersible Ship Nuclear, replacement. The merits of VLS, also called Vertical Payload Tubes, has been a point of discussion with British defence community for years. The choice not to fit them to the astute class set them apart from the contemporary, and generally equivalent, US Navy Virginia class. Yet there is a drawback for the astute class not having a VLS which may not be apparent in the technical explanations. The US supply Tomahawk cruise missiles for its torpedo tubes are becoming a legacy design. With the advent of the later Los Angeles class attack submarines in the 1980s the US Navy introduced VLS to their fleet. The VLS requires a different subversion of the missile. The last U.S. Navy attack submarines without VLS were the three Sea Wolf class boats. These would still need the horizontally launched Tomahawk if they were to carry them. But the latest Virginia class makes VLS standard across almost all the U.S. Navy submarine force now and in the future. Having a VLS will mean increased interoperability with U.S. Navy. Retaining the common supply chain will also mean that the two navies can draw on each other's stocks in times of need. If the Royal Australian Navy's future AUKUS submarines have a VLS this is taken further. Looking ahead, including a VLS on the SSNR will also open the door to hypersonic weapons. These use their speed and agility to perform time-critical strikes while evading defenses. The Royal Navy is looking to become a global leader in hypersonic weapons. Possibly the SSNR, with its VLS, will play a major part in this transformation.